there is controversy surrounding the the relationship of early childhood vaccinations and the development of autism. It's been studied very, very extensively on uh, both kind of clinical, anecdotal, and more uh, scientific epidemiological bases, at least at the level of, a, of population statistics. The, the, the best experts in the field really do have consensus that vaccinations of uh, uh, MMR vaccinations around the age of two um, are, are not causal um, for autism. Um, there is, so there is controversy, and, and many would say case closed. That it, the vaccinations don't cause autism. On the other hand, uh, it, it, they are at the level of population statistics, and there are many things in medicine and in science uh, that can work at the level of the individual. A very specific rare genetic mutation, for example, conceivably could interact with uh, um, you know, antibodies or the vaccine or uh, agents within the vaccine uh, media um, to produce neurological or, or even other medical problems, for example, but there just isn't evidence for it. So because it's such, that would be such a rare event, it's very difficult to marshal evidence that would ever demonstrate it. So it's, it's really, um, it's, it's, and, and that would ever refute it. So it's really, um, if that does exist and it is possible, it would be very difficult to falsify that it's happening in individual children. Uh, and, and again, at the level of st statistical populations, it seems not to be the case. I think the difficulty is that um, it, it's, a, it's a temporal concurrence of the, the, the time in childhood at which these symptoms emerge, and they're most evident, around the age of two or three, when children typically are becoming um, much more social, or should be becoming much more social, and parents begin noticing that uh, something terrible is, uh, terrib terrible is wrong with their child. Um, they may, in fact, be losing skills that they had started to acquire, a sort of regressive form of autism. And that's happening around the time that they get vaccines. Uh, and when th two things go together in time, people inherently, uh, naturally, uh, say A causes B, even though it's just a temporal concurrence, literally a coincidence in time. Uh, but it doesn't mean that A causes B.